ka wow mat. In this video, we will discuss and describe the set notation given by the shaded region in the Venn diagram. Okay? And then after that, we will solve problems using Venn diagram. So first, let us try to describe the set notation given by the shaded region. So, bago tayo magpunta sa problem solving, dapat alam natin kung paano i-describe itong mga shaded region na to into set notation para mas madali sa atin mag-solve ng problem. Okay, let's have number one. So, I, this is the intersection of A and B or set A and B. So, we all know that the intersection must always be at the center of two sets. So, nasa gitna, nasa pagitan. Okay? Next, so since A lang yung may shaded region, so this is A, set A. Now, this one, since both A and B are shaded, so ibig sabihin, this is A union B. Okay? Next, now, since A lang ang may shade dito at walang B, therefore, this is difference. A minus B, tatanggalin natin yung part ni B. Or, pwede rin naman siyang the intersection of set A and the complement of set B. So, pwede natin to i-describe using two set notations. Okay? Next. So, since ang shaded lang natin dito ay B and C at walang... Um, Hindi kasama ang A. So, therefore, this is just the union of set B and C. Now, this one, all of the sets are shaded. So, ibig sabihin, this is the in union of set A, B, and C. Next. Now, this time, yung, shade, yung gitna naman o yung intersection yung hindi shaded. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya kasama. So, therefore, this is the, uh, the intersection of A and B is not included. So, therefore, this is the complement of the intersection of A and B. Next. Now, this time, kanina, we have the union of B and C. Now, this time, yung part ni A, hindi shaded. Okay? So, therefore, this is the union of B and C, but not A. Ibig sabihin, walang part ni A. So, A is not included. Next. So, this one is, since yung union ni A and B ang hindi shaded dito, so, ibig sabihin, yung A and B ang hindi kasama. So, this is the complement of the union of A and B. Now, in solving problems using Venn diagram, we have to be familiarized with the words or terms used para alam natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin o ano ang hinahanap. So, we have these four terms. Union, intersection, complement, and difference. Okay? So, kapag union, if there is the word or, kapag meron siyang or, that means the operation or yung hinahanap natin ay union. Okay? For intersection, we have the word and or all three. So, pag nakita natin o nabasa natin yung end at all three, that means intersection. Next, for complement, pag meron tayong, if we, are, have, if we have two sets, neither nor, kapag meron siyang neither nor, or neither of the three, neither one of the three, ibig sabihin, complement ang hinahanap natin. Now, sometimes, you will encounter the word but not. So, but not, Pag meron kayong nabasang but not, that is also means complement. Ibig sabihin, hindi kasama. Ganon din sa difference. Pag meron tayong but not, pwede rin nating sabihin na difference yon. Ibig sabihin, take away, tatanggalin, hindi siya kasama. So, yung but not, pwede siya as difference and complement. And then, only. Only, ibig sabihin, you have to take away. Hindi pwedeng may kasamang part nito. So, halimbawa, uh, apple only. So, apple lang. Walang part ni, ni set B. Okay? So, let's try. So, if you were given two sets. So, let us uh, represent apple as A and then banana for B. 
So, how are we going to uh, rewrite the following words into set notation? So, dapat alam natin to so that pagdating sa problem solving, we know how to analyze it. Okay? So, apple and banana. So, and, we all know that and, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, and is intersection. So, we will use this symbol. And then, for apple and then banana. So, therefore, the set notation is uh, in the intersection of set A and B. Now, since in problem solving, we are getting the cardinality or the number of elements. Therefore, we will be using these symbols, more letter N, o cardinality. Ulitin ko ha, pagdating sa problem solving, since ang tinatanong na natin ay cardinality o bilang ng elements, ibig sabihin, we will use this symbol. So, Apple and banana, this is our set notation, and then we will uh, use small letter N. Okay? And then apple or banana, so or is union. And then apple and banana, so therefore our set notation in problem solving will be A union B, or the cardinality of A union B. Apple only, so only means different. So apple only, so apple minus, tatanggalin natin yung B kasi apple only daw. So, that is the cardinality of A minus B. Next, if we only have apple, so apple means A, so that is the cardinality of set A. Next. Alright, so paano kapag tatlo yung sets natin? So, let's represent apple for A, B for banana, O for orange. Okay? So, I have here apple and banana but not orange. So, apple A and is intersection B for banana but not is difference or pwede rin namang complement and then orange. So, therefore, this is the cardinality of the intersection of A and B minus O or pwede rin namang the cardinality of intersection of A and B intersect, uh, intersection with the complement of O. Okay? And then, neither of the three. Neither means wala sa tatlo. Okay? So, this is a complement. Neither. And then, three, ibig sabihin yung tatlo, yung union. So, therefore, this is the cardinality of the complement of union of A, B, and G, O. Okay, another. All three. All three. So, all three means intersection. So, ibig sabihin... This is the cardinality of the intersection of three sets. And then banana, B, or is union, orange, but not minus or complement. And then apple, so we have the cardinality of the union of B and O minus A, or pwede rin namang complement. Alright? Now, let's proceed to the problem solving. So I have here... 40 people are asked about the social media accounts that they have. So, let, up, let us represent F for those people who have Facebook accounts, T for people who have Twitter accounts, and I for Instagram accounts. And then, we will be using this Venn diagram. Okay? So, the, he, here is the data. Okay? Now, so, our universal set is 40. Okay, remember that our universal set is 40. Bakit 40? Kasi yun yung bilang ng taong tinanong. Okay, dito sa survey na to. So, first, how many people have Facebook accounts? So, since ang tinatanong ay Facebook account, so lahat ng elements or cardinality ng nasa Facebook account. So, ilan daw ang merong Facebook accounts? So, we have... 8 plus 7 plus 5 plus 2 and that is 22. So, therefore, the cardinality of F is 22. Next, Facebook and Twitter accounts. So, I have here the word and. And, and means intersection. So, pupunta tayo sa gitna ni Facebook at ni Twitter. Kasi and, that is intersection. So, therefore, the intersection of Facebook and Twitter is 7 plus 2. So, we have 9. Next, how many people have Facebook or Instagram accounts? We have the word or. Or means union. So, pagsasamahin natin lahat ng elements ni Facebook at ni Instagram. 
So we will be adding all the elements. So we will have 8 plus 7 plus 5 plus 2 and then 4 plus 3. So all the elements in Facebook and Instagram. So we will have 29. So again, this is 29. Next, Twitter and Instagram account. So we have the word and. And means intersection. So nasa gitna, pagitan ni Twitter and Instagram. So ibig sabihin, we will have the intersection of Twitter and Instagram. 2 plus 4, that is 6. And then Facebook or Twitter account. So we have the word or. So nasa uh, pagsasamahin natin lahat ng elements or we will add all the elements in Facebook and on Twitter. So, ayan. So, we will have 8 plus 7 plus 5 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 and that is 32. Okay. Next, how many people have Facebook accounts only? Now, kung ang tinatanong ay Facebook accounts, eto yon. But since we have the word only, ibig sabihin, Take away, yun lang, Facebook lang dapat, walang Instagram, walang Twitter. So, we will cover up Instagram and Twitter. So, therefore, we will only have, so tatanggalin natin yung Instagram and Twitter, that is only 8. So, ulitin ko, if the question is Facebook accounts, that is, we will include all the elements in Facebook. But since we only, we have here the word only, we will remove all the elements in Twitter and in Instagram. Okay, next, Twitter and Instagram but not Facebook account. So, and means intersection. So, intersection if Twitter and Instagram. So, ayan. But we have here the word but not. Hindi raw kasama ang Facebook. So, we will cover Facebook. So, we only have four. Next, Facebook or Twitter but not Instagram account. So, we have the word or. That means union. Pagsasamahin natin ang elements ni Facebook at ni Twitter. So, we have this two but not. Meron siyang but not. So, ibig sabihin hindi natin isasama ang mga elements na nasa loob ng Instagram. So, cover natin yun. So, we only have 8 plus 7 plus 6. So, we have 21. Okay. Now, this time, we have how many people has all three? So, meron siyang tatlong accounts. So, ibig sabihin, all three is intersection. So, that is two. And then, neither one of the three. Neither means wala sa tatlo. Now, babalikan natin yung universal set natin. So, kanina, sabi natin, ilang tao lahat, we have 40 people. Now, kung bibilangin natin lahat ng elements sa Facebook, sa Instagram at sa Twitter, kung kukunin natin yung union nila, that is just 35. Eh, meron tayong 40 people na tinanong. So, ibig sabihin, merong dyan... Yun yung tinata tinatanong na neither. Sino dyan yung wala sa tatlo? Walang accounts kahit isa. Yun yung 5 out of 40 na nawawala. So, tatakpan natin to. Ibig sabihin, wala dyan sa tatlo. And that is 5. Yun yung kulang na lima. Alright? So, that is the complement. Now, this time, we will create our own Venn diagram. So, a teacher announces that out of 30 students in class, 16 passed both the math and science test and 24 passed the science test. Okay, so we will be creating our own Venn diagram. So, take note of your uh, variables. We have math and science. Okay. So, focus tayo sa given. Since meron tayong word na end, ibig sabihin intersection. So, itong 16 na to na given sa problem, yan ay intersection. Alright? Now, sabi 24 pass the science test. So, pupunta tayo sa science na bilog. Ang pumasaraw sa science ay 24. Okay? Yung kabuuan na pumasa sa science ay 24. Now, hindi natin ilalagay na 24. Bakit? 
Ima-minus natin yung 16 at ang ilalagay na lang natin ay 8 because 16 plus 8 is 24. Kagaya na sinabi sa given, 24 lang daw ang pumasa sa science test. So, ibig sabihin, part doon yung intersection. Since we already have 16, 8 na lang ang kulang. Kaya pag in natin si 16 plus 8, that is 24. So, lahat ng pumasa sa science ay 24. So, remember ha, take note na ima-minus natin yung intersection kapag naglalagay tayo ng data doon sa science. Okay? And then now, since our universal set is 30, okay? So, bago ka sumagot ng questions, tingnan mo na kagad kung ilan yung complement. Pag sinabing complement, yung wala doon sa math and science or doon sa data. Okay? So, 16 plus 8 is just 24. So, ilan nang wala? We have 6. And that is, eto yung anim na to. Ano kaya tong anim na to? So, we will answer the questions. So, number 1, how many passed the, te the math test only? So, since we have here the word only, so, ibig sabihin, walang science. So, tatakpan natin si science. Ilan daw ang pumasa sa math? So, that is 0. Now, since only to, that is difference. Okay? Next, how many pass the science test only? So, science test naman ngayon. So, tatakpan natin yung math. Okay? So, we have S, uh, the cardinality of science minus math, that is 8. So, we will not include the elements in math. Okay? Kasi ang sabi dito, science only. And then, how many students did not pass either math or science? So, or means union. So, wala doon sa union. Okay? So, wala sa math, wala sa science. So, ilan ang hindi pumasa sa math and science? So, ito yung kinuha natin kanina. Kung ilan yung kulang. And that is the cardinality of the complement of uh, union of math and science. That is 6. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to our WowMath channel. Just keep on watching!